Terry Peto, the actress from Zoti, is allegedly involved in a multi-million rand National Lottery Commission corruption case. Her property was recently given a preservation order by the Special Investigating Unit, SIU, who contend that it was constructed using money taken from the National Lottery Commission Grant Fund. According to the various reports, the funding was intended to launch a public campaign and implement cultural sensitive medical intervention to achieve traditional circumcision. Among the luxury homes features are three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a rooftop entertainment area, a maid and three bedrooms. According to the SABC, the stunning mansion failed to attract a buyer on Thursday. It is reported that the property is worth around 5 million rand, but none of the 28 registered bidders offered more than the starting bid of 3 million on Thursday. Let's take a tour of this auction mansion in Branston. Beautiful home, as you can see there. A home that was built with fraudulent money from the National Lottery Commission. The spokesperson for the Special Investigating Unit, Keza Hanyako, said there were no takers, unfortunately. There were people who registered about 28 people, but none of them put an offer on it, which is a very strange thing. The house is still available. What's going to happen now is that they will find other ways of dealing with the sale. All what we want is the money back so that we can take the money back to the lottery so that it is used for what it was intended for. In 2022, Terry issued a statement refuting the alleged fraud corruption allegations leveled against him. A statement came after the Special Investigating Unit seized a number of assets and businesses, including luxury cars, ending the investigation. I'm dismayed to discover that I'm the subject of the Special Investigating Unit probed into allegation of fraud relating to funding by the National Lotteries Commission. I deny any involvement in the alleged scheme that has been reported on. I also had no prior knowledge of the application to obtain a preservation order against me and have no sight of this order, she said. Well, there you have it behind scenes family. Terry Peter's house that was bought with the fraudulent money that you received from the National Lottery Commission was put for an auction, but unfortunately no one was able to buy the house. So as we speak, the house is still available. As I mentioned earlier, according to the reports, this funding was intended to launch a public campaign and implement cultural sensitive medical interventions to achieve traditional circumcision. But Unfortunately, that didn't happen. The money landed up in wrong hands and somehow in the hands of the actress Terry Petto, who then used the funds to build her home in Branston. I think she also bought some of the, her luxury cars in her garage there, as well as invested in some of uh, her business with the money that she received from the National Lottery Commission. Now, so let's have a look at some of the reaction on Twitter. One Twitter user said, I'd like to see what's happening to Terry Porter also happen to corrupt politicians and government officials. Totally agree with that one. Another Twitter user said, Terry Porter is getting what she deserves, but I'm confused. Why are government officials not being hounded like this? Good question right there. I can't believe we all tuned into that one episode to watch Terry Porter on the bold and yeah, she was busy swindling money men for the poor. Wow, said another Twitter user. Please let me know your thoughts on Terry Porter's fraudulent topic. What are your thoughts? And remember to like and subscribe so that you can receive notification of the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.